another <laughs> vlog, okay? I got my girl Joe here with me. Hey y'all. You might remember her from my vlog where she yeah. talked about her natural hair. Okay. And she also tagged me in the honest yeah. husband challenge. So this is the amazing woman behind it all. Okay, she got a print magazine called Beautiful Encounters. Yeah. <sighs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly what we're gonna talk about today, okay? So stay tuned because this is another Keep Calm and Encourage On just for you. All right, Joe. Yes. Please tell us about your amazing magazine, Beautiful Encounters. Okay, so Beautiful Encounters is a print based, print faith based magazine. Um, and it just basically shares stories of people's struggles with motherhood. Um, with life in general, um, with their faith, and it's really just like a platform for people to do storytellings and to encourage other people that the situation you're in, you're not alone. There's hundreds of thousands of people struggling in different areas in, of their life, and just to encourage you to keep on pressing on. Yes! And when when did it all begin? Give me like a, a date, give me like a, a thought, like how okay, did it so. Start? It started because I actually was like, I just had my son and I was out of work. I wasn't really doing much. So I'm like, God, I, I feel like I want to be used more. Like, mm -hmm. I know that you put me here to be used to, to reach other people. So like, how can I be used? And at the point this time I was blogging, but I just felt like God had more for me. So I really started to seek him and try to figure it out. And I remember one night I was praying and literally like the word magazine just fell on my heart. And I was like, hell to the no. I, I, I don't know technology. I don't know nothing. I cannot do a magazine. No. But, of course, well, if you don't know, usually when it's a big plan that you can't do on your own, it's because it's from God and you got to depend on him. So, for like months, I just kept hearing magazine. I'm like, I'm not doing Hey, boo. So, for months, I was like, no. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. So, then eventually, I was like, this is stupid. I'm asking for more, but I don't like the answer that he's giving me. Mm -hmm. So let me just step out in faith and trust that it's not going to fail because it's his plan. Yeah. And from that day forward, I just started to press on and here we are now. Wow. And girl, your magazine is amazing. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to give you guys all the information to purchase this magazine. Okay. It is homegrown. It is purely organic and raw <laughs> and you need to invest okay because it will bless your soul all right Thank you, Jelly. so i want to know give me a few of like the major challenges you faced during this process um i would say the first major one was just depending on god like it's easy to make things about you when they're not about you. So I'm like, That's so good. man, I, you know, I posted this post and only one person read it or only one person liked it or only one person said that it blessed them. And by doing that, I was making about me and the attention that I was getting, not failing to realize that in God's plan, even if I'm just reaching one person, that's enough. So even good. if I'm encouraging one person, that's enough. And another one I would say, a big one, is just not feeling qualified. Like, you know, we always go back and forth with this, like, my past, my this, my that. Like, and I, yeah. that, I annoy myself when I do that because I really feel like I'm just throwing myself a pity party. Duh, God uses the foolish things to save the wise. Mm -hmm. My past was foolish. Mm -hmm. And I'm showing the world that God can change somebody's life around and he will use it for his glory. So yeah. those are two big old challenges I had girl. Isn't she amazing? Stop. I get so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I love is that like my channel isn't necessarily like a Christian channel. Right. Like, I don't broadcast myself as like holier than thou right. type of person. Mm -hmm. And I just love that, you know, I'm here with you and your magazine is faith based, which is important you know, and on top of that, that's you being you. You're a Christian right, mom. Right. Like you shouldn't hide that. Right. Feel the need to filter that out. Right. Because it's not trending. Mm -hmm. It's not popular. Yeah, it's not, y'all. You know, <laughs> and it's funny because now that you're Whoa! saying all of this, my keep calm and encourage on um, segment in my vlog is 
because that's who God made me as a person. Like right. I believe I'm supposed to encourage people. people yeah, and, and you, so, she's great at it, guys. She is good at it. Thank you. And so, like having you in this segment is important because that's what you do in your in your vlog as well. That's what you do as a mom. That's right. what you do as a wife, as a friend, and in your magazine, mm -hmm. you are an encourager, and God uses your magazine as a channel Daddy. and as a tool Daddy. to do so. Right. And so Daddy. that's just so amazing to me. Blows my mind, and I love Jack. Sorry, y'all, my son is here. You are so cute. Soon as I get home. You better sing, Mark. Soon as I get home. Come on, finish it off. I'll be loving you. Hey. It's so good. Hey. Hey. I did a video. We're doing this video. So we're back. <laughs> we had a little interruption. Sorry about that. But we're all right. Now. Okay. All right. So, Joe, I just want to ask you before we close this off. Yes. If there's any little bit of encouragement, since this is keep calm and encouraging, no, okay. Any bit of encouragement that you could give to a viewer. Just to keep in mind that we're all here with a purpose, right? Like God all created us with a specific plan in mind. So it's easy for us to say, like, you know. I don't have, like, God doesn't have a plan for me, or, you know, look at this person doing this, Where, like, where's my plan? Um, I would just honestly say to seek God for what his plan is for you, because the best life that you could live is the life that he created you to live. I'm telling you, it is the best life. It's stress-free, you're, you're not worried about the bills getting paid, or, or where the next meal is going to come from, you're not worried about any of those things, simply because you know that because you're obeying what God called you to do, you know that he's going to have your back. You know that it may seem hard, look hard, but in the end, it's always going to end well. So I would definitely say take time to pursue who God created you to be mm -hmm. and what he created you to do. Get to it, y'all. Get to it. Get to pursuing your God-given calling. Amen. Amen. Guys, thank you for tuning in to another segment of Keep Calm and Encourage On with your girl, IDK, my BFF, Jill. Okay. This is the lovely Joe. Again, her information will be down below, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to see you on the flip. Bye.